Hello, this is LB24 here at Stepney Green Park. We're back again with another flash church search with the community, the police team, the rapid response team and community members all have come together again to do another search. As we know, this is an on ongoing commitment by the Met to keep neighbourhoods safe. We'll see what the, we'll follow all the people that have joined here and see what unfolds. for this to be in a bush absolutely it's concealed in a bush for a reason this yeah. could be thrown in the bin easily why would someone come here and seal it like that so this is there for a reason and well
be fun. Yeah, thank you. What have we got? We've got bits of wood. We've got um, iron, an iron piece of bar which was in a in a bush there, stood up. No, there's no place for it to be there. Um, a pole. Even things like umbrellas and bricks, we'll take them away. I mean, they've got no place to put them apart. You know what I mean? And rather than have someone um, use them because they're there, we'll take them away and put them in a police bin. That's the safest place in the bin. This was interesting. Um, again, you know, we talk about things like intended weapons. Um, this is from a uh, possibly a garden implement or a kitchen implement, something as simple as that. They've taken off whatever that implement was at the end of it, and then you've got a perfect handle to stab into someone, you know, and that's going to cause injury, you know, into a neck, um, you know, into the torso. So that's something obviously we, we're really keen on finding and taking out of uh, circulation. Um, we found the, the, wall, the wallet. Lovely. Lovely, fantastic. <laughs> it goes to show, you know, with, with the briefing, we say, you know, think, think forensically, think about worst case scenarios. Sadly, we have to. That wallet, until we know where that wallet came from and the circumstances of that being lost by, the, by a victim, by a, by a loser, mm. then we will always take that, forensically bag it, do some searches back on our databases, yeah. and we'll find out what's happened to it if we know. So that's, that's really important. Okay, right, we're going to move down, Ricky, down to Head Street. Yeah, we're going to walk a short distance down the road to Head Street. And we'll... I'm, I'm back here again with D.I. Soul. Hello, D.I. Soul. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, very well. We're doing uh, flash search number four today. Um, how's it going? How's it gone? Yeah, it's good. We've um, not found as much as we potentially thought we would find in this park, um, but a lot of implements which um, we were unhappy with remaining in the park, so we've removed them, and they'll go in the police bins. Um, what's positive for me is that all the people using the park, it's quite a busy park today, mums, dads, kids, they've all seen us move through the area. They know what we're doing now. They know it's police and local residents and faith leaders, so that's really positive as well. Uh, also, it's about raising awareness. I know you might not find as much because it is quite a well-maintained park, but again, it's about awareness. Yeah, absolutely. It's about engagement. So for me, you know, if, if we're making people aware that the community are standing against knife crime with the police and with the local authority, that's only a positive message. And regardless of what we find or don't find, if they see us out and about remaining busy, searching through bushes, that's a really positive thing for the community to see. And it makes them hopefully feel safer. Great, thank you. No problems. Thank you.
I'm here with Councillor Asma Begum. She's a cabinet member of the community safety team. Hello, Asma. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um, you've come out here to be part of the flash search today taking place, which started at Stepney Green Park. Um, how are you um, feeling about the whole thing? I'm feeling quite positive. We've just found a knife just now. Um, I've found a wallet and I've also found some cannabis as well, so cannabis grinders and so forth. Um, as you can see I've got my gloves on as well and getting my hands dirty as well. Is this, your, is this the first one you've been involved in because um, we have been following from the very first one that took place in Shadwell. Um, would, you, would you take it up with your um, community safety team to continue on and involve the community in these um, searches? So this was set up under a task and finish group from my role. Um, we realised the importance of knives and the and knives in general that have been used to commit a lot of kind of crimes. Uh, so it, we set up a group called the task and finish group around knife crime. And from that came these flash searches. So these flash searches were then collaborated with the council and the police to do these with the community as well. And it is the first that I've come to know. Important part of this um, search that's been happening, and this isn't for search number four, as all the community faith leads have come together as well in every search. She have the faith team liaison officer has brought everybody together from mosques, churches, synagogues. Today I have here Paul and he's from Latimer Church. Hi Paul. Hi there. How are you? Oh, very good, thanks. Um, so your church is involved. Um, please tell me how you got involved. Um, Shay came around and was talking to us uh, in his new post and so he said would we be interested in doing something like this and we said yes that would be great because uh, we're very much aware of all the uh, the crime that's going on around um, in Ocean Estate particularly which is where we're based. Um, we very often um, have police raids um, going on, a lot of drugs going on around us and so we're really 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 privileged, really honoured to be able to be involved in some of this to clean up the area to make it safer for the population. You have been also, you're hands-on because you've got the gloves on as well. Have you actually, did you find anything? Uh, nothing of any consequence, just a, a couple of bricks and uh, some baggies that was a, would have held drugs in them before, but nothing of any consequence. But things have been found here, yes, on the search. Um, but will you continue to be involved in initiatives like this? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you, great. Okay. Thanks very much. Now I have here with me Acting Sergeant Lawrence. Hello Sergeant Lawrence. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. Um, you've, um, you're involved in today's search. Um, so tell me, um, there's pl been plenty found. Can you just tell us, the viewers, a bit about that? Yeah, um, so we're out here searching for mainly weapons, but we'll, we'll come across and pick up anything that, that could be used as such. Um, so far the main item we've found is a small kitchen knife. Um, it's always good to get it off the streets because it's potentially a life saved. Um, we found some other little implements as well, like a small, uh, I believe it's a kitchen implement that's uh, got a sharp point on it. Um, I believe we may have even found some drugs today. Um, I haven't verified that yet, but I've, that's what I've heard. So it's good finds all round, and uh, it's important to get it off the streets because it could well save people's lives. Um, will you be involved in few future searches? Yeah, this is the, the first one for Stepney Green. Um, I'm the, the ward sergeant for Stepney Green and St Dunstan's, so I'm hoping to get uh, a few searches done with St Dunstan's as well. Um, this will be the first one for Stepney Green, but first of many, with any hope. Um, just for, before we go, um, just a message um, to viewers and the community, um, just to get them involved, what would you say? Um, everything is, is revolves around community. Um, London is, is made up of the most diverse community in the world. Um, if you ever see police out and about, you know, we're all friendly, come up, speak to us, um, have a chat, talk to us about what we're doing today. Um, if we're out about doing this sort of thing today with the searches and you see us, by all means come out and join us. Um, we'll give you a pair of gloves and you can muck in with the rest of us and try and get some weapons off the street. Great message, thank you. No worries, thank you very much.
quite it's drawn to an end to this particular flash uh, which started at Stepney Green Park um, we've moved over closer to Sir John Cass uh, Redcoat School um, a few things have been found as you've heard from the sergeant that was spoke before the acting sergeant Lawrence um, what I will say community get involved if you do see police officers around approach them if you see teams doing searches like this come and ask what it's about because it's they're out here and all members of the local authorities are here to keep your community safe so till the next time bye for now